I just wanted to make a quick video to show you some of the new features in Google Meet. I'm going to start by creating my Google Meet here in Google Calendar, and I'll show you why later. So I'm going to go ahead and just say test meet. Uh, I'm going to add a Google Meet to this video conference, and I'm actually going to make it repeat, and I'll show you why. I'll just say weekly on Monday. Sure, why not? And, um, and we'll say save. Okay, so here's my Google Meet, and uh, I'll go ahead and join it now. First thing I want to show you is there's a new background blurring feature. Uh, there's nothing too offensive about my background here. It's just uh, some soundproofing. But uh, if you wanted a blurry background, uh, let's say you have a messy room behind you, you can turn on background blur by clicking the three dots at the bottom and choosing that. And it actually works very well. Um, let me record this too. Record. Um, so you can see it. the blurring works pretty well. Uh, I can move my head around. It doesn't seem to be blurring my head much, maybe a little at the edges, but uh, it works pretty well, which is great. You can turn it back off again like this. Um, Google Meet now gives you some fine de tuned details about what um, students can and can't do. If you go ahead and go into host controls, which looks like a little shield down here, uh, let's go through them one at a time. Quick access. Right now, this is turned on and uh, this will work like you're used to where students can click on the link and join the Google Meet prior to you being in there. Um, anyone in who has been invited to join the Google Meet through your calendar will automatically just quickly access or quickly join the Google Meet, no problem. Anyone who's trying to access it, the Google Meet uh, with a, uh, who's not been invited, they'll, you'll get a little pop-up that says, hey, do you want them to join? Those are for external accounts. And anyone who is trying to join with um, your domain account will automatically be entered as well. If you don't want it to behave like that, you can turn this off. And what that means is that every single person who is going to join your Google Google Meet has to request permission to do so. And you'll get a pop-up for each person and you can admit them in. Some teachers have asked me, is it possible to make it so that students can't use the Google Meet link when I'm not in there? And this, flipping this, should make it so that you have to admit everyone in. I don't know how well this works between platforms, but uh, I'm using a MacBook. I assume this would work the same on your iPad uh, and whatnot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that off for now. The other thing you can turn on and off is allowing participants to share their screen. So if you want students to be able to share their screen or not, you can turn these off. And if you want them to use the chat or not, you can turn those off too. So let's say um, students are messing about in the chat. You don't want that. Turn off the chat. Um, I think for the most part, for me, I'm going to leave these all on, but I want you to know that they're there and you can turn them off and on. The last thing I want to show you is there's a built-in Jamboard now into your um, Google Meet, and I can click here on my triple dot and go up to whiteboard, open a jam, click on that. I can actually select a pre-existing one if I built a template, or I can just start using um, a brand new one. So I'll create a jam board, and then um, you can do everything here that you would normally do. Now, the students aren't seeing this, but what they are seeing is they are seeing it under attachments. So they automatically get access to it here through the attachments. It, Google Drive smart enough to share it with them automatically uh, because um, they are part of this Google Meet. But let's say you want to share it in real time. Maybe collaborating isn't the point of the Jamboard today. You want to share it. I can click my three dots and say, um, sorry, I can say present now and say a window. And then I can choose that Jamboard and say share. And now it's being shared into the Google Meet. So when I select it, you know, I, I can write some notes, whatever it is I want to do with my Jamboard. And then the students will see it and they can access it later. I'm going to stop the recording that I started earlier. So I want to show you a couple of things. So I'll say stop recording. Let's go. Uh, we're going to close the Google Meet. And I want to show you a couple of things. So when I click on this Google Meet, this is the one I've created for today. I click that. Um, you can see in a minute or two, it's going to have, uh, once the video is processed, it's going to have a link to the video that we recorded there. And um, it should have a link to the Jamboard as well. Let's just refresh my calendar and see if it pops up automatically. Um, I don't see it, but it should automatically pop up the link to the video that was recorded here once it's processed. It's just not processed yet. But the other thing I wanted to show you is, let's go back out. Let's look at our Google Meet. I think I made it recurring on a Monday. So let's click on the second one 
for next week, and it should be the same URL. Let's just double check. So this one is next week, so it ends in uh, FCD. Let's go over here, and it ends in FCD as well. Jump on that one. We'll say join Google Meet, and we'll jump in. So let's check. I'm going to click on my uh, administrative things here. And uh, I turned them all off, but they're turned back on. That's a bit disappointing. I was hoping these would stay. These settings would say it doesn't seem as though they're staying. Let's do that. Let's hang up. Let's jump out. And let's open it back again to see what happens. Yeah, so now they're turned off. It's interesting that that setting doesn't propagate from week to week. Let's click on next week's one or the 19th. Let's click there, join Google Meet, let's see what happens, join again, and administration. Oh, okay, it has remembered the settings there. So maybe I uh, I can't remember, I'll have to watch my video back, I can't remember if I left these settings on. Maybe you have to do that a couple of times, and then those settings will uh, propagate from one meet to the next, from one week to the next. And so if you want, don't want kids jumping into the Google Meet prior to your arrival, if you don't want them sharing their screen or their chat, those are the settings you'll want mm -hmm. to flip on there. Anyway, those are the new settings. I'm sure there are more to come. I'm looking very much forward to the um, breakout rooms. Hopefully that comes soon. Fingers crossed. Okay, bye.